Hey, <laughs> always start this off good. I know. I'm sorry. I've been talking so much. I don't have a voice. Hi, everyone. Arlen here. <laughs> Welcome back to my country craft corner. It is so good to see you again. And thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I and <gasps> cousin Stacy are up to today. <laughs> As you can see, we're in somewhere totally different. This We are sitting in front of my dad's kitchen, which is behind us. Dad is off camera to our right, your left. Doing great, walking down the hall right now. Uh, really recovering beautifully from his total knee replacement. Uh, he had occupational therapy here this morning and he had physical therapy here this morning. They just left and he's still just going to have one visit from his nurse and we figured we'd go ahead and get started with this. This is just going to be an introduction from me, but Miss Stacy is going to take over and she's going to do a tutorial on... Well, I decided to give myself a little challenge. I had seen a video on YouTube. Well, actually, I didn't watch the video. Um, she just saw I the saw thumbnail. A thumbnail. She just saw the thumbnail, that's all. And she um, came um, up with this. Of a lady who had gone to her local Dollar Tree and made a cute little Christmas tree uh, decoration. And I thought, well, geez, I wonder if my Dollar Tree has the same stuff. So I went to my Dollar Tree. I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff. I have not opened anything. I have not yeah. prepped anything. I have not tried putting it together. <laughs> um, so this should be. We don't know where we're going to plug Yeah, in I was going to say we the, have the, 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 uh, the glue gun. 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 <laughs> um, so we'll this right. could really be a super cute, or it could be a total train wreck. Either way, you'll be entertained. Um, <laughs> yes. So. Everything I bought from the Dollar Tree is the only thing um, in this whole craft that I did not get from the Dollar Tree is my glue gun. So everything um, to make this little project, uh, I bought at our local Dollar Tree and I spent $10 because I liked that number. But as you will see, you can adjust this and I, re I honestly, honestly think bare bones, you could make this project for one, two, three, maybe, maybe four bucks. You can't get any better than that. And wait till you see what she has. It's going so to be super cute. Hopefully it'll be really cute. Uh, I'm going to use it for my Christmas in my coastal room, mm -hmm. um, but we can get to that a little bit later. Yeah, let me, uh, also she's going to do a little food tutorial today too. She's making uh, the three of us, we're all going to eat together, a chicken pot pie, super casserole. easy casserole, super easy recipe. So you get a craft and a recipe and some conversation too from both of us. Always. And we're so happy, of course, to be together. Stacy and her mom and dad have been here many times throughout my stay here with my dad, uh, helping, bringing food. They always come in. They never come in empty handed, you guys. We have got so much food in this refrigerator right here to my left. It's crazy. But I wanted to tell you too, Stacy is going to be doing a few projects. And I wanted to tout Bobby at perpetualribbons.com real quick, you guys. Uh, Stacy had gotten in touch Beautiful. with me before I came up here. And she said, all right, I just want to do a, a little something for somebody, I'm not even gonna say who. Right. Well, for that, Christmas. Well, that's why I we're not said, doing this project not, on yes. camera. Yeah. But I can show you. I said, Bobby, I need 40 yards of ribbon, and I need it really quick. Boy, howdy! Stacy had it the next day, you guys. Yeah. The next day, and she sent me 40 Look yards oh. of buffalo check, you guys. I love it. Look at this. Love and so I've it. been making bows, even though I've not been on camera doing it. I've been making. Funky bows. I made how many funky bows? Seven funky what bows. Is it? Yeah, I think. five, six, seven. Seven yeah. funky bows. And then I also made a tiered bow. That one lives with, this one's going to live with me. <laughs> and I made and a this one lives with me. Detail. And actually, one and of these. This one lives with me now. It's going to live with the, her. The rest but. one, the rest will have to go to my. Um, Christmas presents for my birthday club girls, but oh, okay. Well, I can say you can say that much. I can say that birthday much. club girls, you're gonna get a buffalo, something with a buffalo check funky <laughs> bow on it. 
<laughs> so no, I didn't do these on camera. If you guys are interested in knowing how to do a funky bow like this, this is a nine loop. This is the easiest funky bow that I make. You can always go to my playlist and find my uh, bow making 101. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll put it in the description box. I'll put a link in the description box if you need it. So you can always learn how to make a funky bow. Also though, I wanted to tell you one more thing and then I'm going to get out of the way and Stacy's going to take over and then I'll come back for our final words. But I wanted to just show you this. I found this in my, in, in walking around my dad's house and my dad says, you take that home with you. Take that home with you. Well, I found, you know, the grandmother that I always talk about that handed down my, uh, the hutch in the dining room and the secretary and the little coffee table and my blue and white sugar bowl and creamer. She also made this. Now, I'm sure some of you are going, I made something just like that. I have something just like that. I don't need to maybe different colors or whatever. But I just thought this was super cute. And, you know, I'm not too much of a yellow person, but boy, howdy, I'll find somewhere to put this. And it even has her name, Verda, in 1964. She made this in 1964. And my grandmother's first name was Verda. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to take this home with me so I have a new little decoration in my house. <laughs> so I thought you guys might be interested to see that. She made it in ceramics glass when she made all those ceramic Christmas trees. Remember all those? So I am excited about that. So I think, and I told dad he could, she should keep it. He went, it's okay, Arlen, you can take it. <laughs> so anyway, dad is now sitting in his chair. Are you feeling okay, dad? I'm fine. I'm fine, he says. <laughs> and he is, he's doing great. But anyway, Stace, I'm gonna get these bows out of the way. I'm going to put them over here and we're going to move the camera and get it situated and we will be or stacy will be right back to do her craft and then she'll be in the kitchen yeah i'm right. a little more comfortable in the kitchen than with this crap but we'll see <laughs> we'll do it together <laughs> we'll be all right we'll be yeah, all right you know and what? i'll help i'll see there's, uh, there's not too much that a glue gun can't fix so right. we'll, we'll plug that baby in get her all get her all hot and ready to go and We'll just glue the snot. We'll just out go of this for thing. it. No, that'll work <laughs> we'll it. just glue the snot out. Yeah, well, that'll work. Hey, if all else fails, fails that'll use work. Just glue. hot glue. Glue it. That's right. Hot glue and duct tape. Build a house. Tips and tricks. That's what you find here on our country <laughs> Country Corner. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll be right back. <laughs> Stupid oh idiots. God. What? Am I supposed to? We're back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, my God. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I act like I never made a video in my life. <laughs> and we know that's not true. It is. Yeah. So this is what I wanted to challenge myself. See if I can make something that wasn't just inexpensive, but that you would actually want to display in your home. So I happen to be at the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. I think it was a Dollar Tree is what we have here. Um, looking for some things for my son's apartment. Anyway which by the way, I did not even purchase, but I thought, <laughs> but I remembered um, the girl from the YouTube thumbnail who had a little Christmas tree that she had got at the Dollar Tree. And I thought, well, I wonder if I could put something together. Well, don't you know, I did. So I'll show you everything that I purchased. Everything, everything, everything was purchased at the dollar store except for my glue gun, that's it. Um, a lot of this stuff you might not even need. Uh, if you have something at home that you could use instead, you might be able to, to do this little project for three bucks. And who can do that? I mean, who wants to spend a whole lot of money on Christmas decorations when it's up for a month and then you put it away forever? But I will show you the things that I purchased for me. I actually plan on using this, putting it out, displaying this in my coastal room. I don't change over my house so much. I change it over maybe four times a year for the seasons. Uh, each room gets its own kind of changeover, but my coastal room is always my coastal room, and it's probably my favorite Christmas room. I have a huge white Christmas tree, and the only Beautiful. ornaments on it are coastal ocean related and it's probably my favorite but Beautiful. that's what i had decided thank you that's what i had decided to work on today putting together a little project to go in that room so the things that i purchased from the dollar tree were i got two of these little 
tabletop trees. They had white, they had green. Obviously I, I chose white to go in my coastal room to match my big white Christmas tree. So I don't know, I haven't opened them. I don't know what they look like. This project is just as much of a surprise for me as it will be for you. So I got two of these little trees. I figured if they were a little sparse, I would put them together, kind of twist them together so they would be a little fuller. I got some of this mesh tubing. I thought I could pull it apart. I could use it to wrap the base and cover uh, any, not wires, but tubing or whatever at the, the Christmas tree to cover that base. I got a little, look at how cute guys, look at this. So cute. Little jar of these little shells. I figured I could hot glue these on as ornaments. And they even had a bag of shells. You know how much these are at Michael's? No, Five, go six, to seven the bucks. Dollar Easy. Tree today. You have no idea what you'll find. So I got these shells just to maybe add. I actually thought I'd like to try to take some of these little bugle shells and maybe make a star for the top of the tree. We'll see. Um, I found some crafting foam a block of this. I thought I could stick down and maybe jam the tree down there and give it a little more stability. I got this little bucket. Look at this bucket. bucket. A little galvanized bucket with some jute roping at the top. I didn't even put that she on there. It that was on there. That already came right on there. A dollar. Come on. And she then was. for stability, because it is kind of a taller um, little bucket, I did get, I'm not gonna take them out, they make a mess these rocks so just some little white gravel and i'm not even gonna oh my i'm not even gonna take it out of the bag i'm just gonna leave it just like that right in the right in the bucket and that gives it some nice heft and that way it won't tip over um the last thing i got where we're even gonna this tree isn't gonna light up yo it's even gonna light up i got these little they're santa claus lights okay Clearly, I don't want Santa Claus lights on my coastal tree. So, here's what I did. Oops. So, they had all these little, come out of here, you lights. They had, each LED had a little Santa Claus on there. And you can see, and this is what he looks like. Hold on, let me turn him on. Okay. Cute. Oh, that was really helpful. But anyway, you can see it, how he lights up. Okay, so all I did was they are glued. They are hot glue. Honestly, if you wanted little Santa Claus lights, go to the dollar store immediately. It's so well made. I, I just cannot say enough good things about the little things that I found at this Dollar Tree. If you can see, they're just, they're hot glued in place. So I just took a little tiny, tiny flathead screwdriver. And here's where I go to the emergency room on video while I, oh, there goes a the Santa Claus head. Oh, oh, oh. That's okay, I'll get him in a we minute. We didn't want to use Santa Claus heads anyway. And so I just wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then I pulled up the glue, pulled up the glue. Like I said, Arlen's backing up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> And then you can even take some needle nose pliers and just pull, 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 pull it's the just glue out. It's just a blob glue. of hot glue. But what I wanted to say is, you know, you don't need a whole lot of money to make something nice. Just imagination, an idea. You can find and manipulate just about anything. I always say I bully things she does. into what I want them to be. She does, and, and she's really good. I'm sorry I'm interrupting, but she's really good at seeing, y'all know how I, if I look at a color, I can go into the store and I can say, well, I know that color is the exact color I need. She, and I always say that that's a gift from the Lord, and her gift is that she can take like something like these lights and go, okay, well, I don't want the Santa heads, but I'm going to, I'm going to make them be whatever I want them to be. And I would say that is a gift for you. I am a craft MacGyver. Yes, you are. Absolutely. A so, craft MacGyver. And, and so there, all I did was pull the glue out, pop the LED off. And now I have for a dollar, a little strand of LED lights 
for my coastal tree. So like I said, everything here today was purchased at the Dollar Tree. Um, and if you didn't want to do a coastal tree, you could get away with this craft. Actually, how cute would it be if you still got two of the trees, did them more like bottle brush trees, two buckets, and then you could have one on either end of a mantle, either end of a table for less than, I mean, way less than 10 bucks, oh maybe goodness. like six yeah, bucks. Six bucks. Six bucks. Yeah. So I am going to um, plug in my hot glue gun, untangle my lights here, and then we will get to putting this, Absolutely. Putting this thing together. We're going to fluff out some trees. Oh, yes. And we may or may not twine them together. Oh, the other thing I was going to do is shave down my block to, you know, Just square so peg, round hole. So we're gonna shave this down a little bit off camera uh, and just get that in there and maybe hot glue it in. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But um, if you mess up, who can? <laughs> it's all in her head, I'm telling you right now. And honestly, if you do mess up, Go, okay. go back to the Dollar Tree and get another one. They're not. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's not that expensive. It's okay. <laughs> right. So, all right. So, we're we'll going right to we, we'll be right back. All right. We'll be right back. That's all right. That's, That's kind of cute. She just smushed. Look, literally. I didn't even cut it. I just jammed She's... it in there. <laughs> smushed it down I in brought, there. I brought a special little knife to do it, but I just, oh, and I left the rocks in the bottom. Didn't even take them out of the bag. I didn't take the, the tag off. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Shut now down in there. we Ooh. just pulled one of these little trees out of the out of the box here, okay. and it came with its own little stand yep. that you could put together, which we're not going to use. And it came with a big bulbous thingy on the bottom I'm that I think I'm going to try to unscrew. And you know what? It's so daggone cute. I really, really thought they were going to be scrawny yeah I, I don't know i just did not have the highest expectations for this thing i don't even it's know it's I don't all in the know fluff in you guys it's all in the fluff in. <laughs> i don't even know if it needs to to no i would just do two. i'm gonna I'll go just... back and get another bucket and yeah. make two of these little things yeah i would definitely because look i'm not done fluffing look it's cute as a button my little oh, no. rope this one's a little crazy are you supposed oh, to Oh, you know that what? I bet you that's the tippy top. Yeah, yeah, that's what that is. Well, we're going to fold that one down. Okay, let's fold it down. I, just want to fold I actually think I should cut this down a little more. Uh, well, maybe not. You said you're going to make a store from the top? In there. I'm thinking maybe I'll, I'll take some of these, see if I can't. Well, this stuff will wrap around. It'll be all right. Don't you think? Uh, get it. They have a little satin. Oh, a little so satin. Oh, and, the, and look, the little nubbin yeah. comes off. So let's just jam her down in there. Oh my Stop. goodness. Stop it. How cute is that? This is one, two, three, four dollars worth of crap. Now think about Sorry. if you already had some pebbles or, or some rocks that you could stick down in there for a base. If you already had a little container, guys, go get these trees. They are, are so seriously adorable. Super cute. Seriously adorable. And I thought maybe I could just wrap this yeah, around. to cover and hot glue to cover this white. Yeah. And see, so you wouldn't even need to do that if you already had a little. It looks like a little Tuesdays. Well, it does. You're right. I mean, and it even has some like sparkles Sparkle to it. in it. Really does. Oh, but you know what's perfect? Like even though this has a round, it's a round bucket and a square thing of foam. There's a gap. Uh, I think there, you can see it. There, yeah, you can yeah. see it. There's a gap there where my where my light thing it's will fit right down in there. Well, maybe it needs a little shaved out. Let's cut a little uh, cut a little slot a little and that'll wedge. drop right down in there. Yeah. And then my lights will go right. Oh, come on now. <laughs> How are they so selling cute. this at the Dollar Tree? I don't know. That's super cute. Oh super cute. my gosh, that's gonna be adorable. And then think about that with these little with these little shells glued on as ornament. I'm so tickled, I can't so understand cute. it. Okay, well, let's just get to work here yep. and, uh, you know, enjoy. I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let the camera run, run and I don't know whether we'll be talking because, or like I'm gonna I put it in fast motion a little bit because we don't want this to be hard long because she is gonna cook too, so. Well, and I honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. So I might put stuff together, I might pull stuff apart, I might, cut some stuff and but I'm gonna put you to some Christmas music <gasps> oh I want to hear Christmas 
Okay, well, you tell me when I get the video edited that you can hear some Christmas music. Okay. Arlen, should I put the Silent lights on? Silent night, holy night. We could sing. No, we don't want to sing. No, she won't sing. But I do have She's a got a beautiful voice. She has got a gorgeous yes, voice. Yes, I'm so talented. She is very talented. <laughs> She's very, very talented. <laughs> should I put my lights on first? Yes. Then Oh my goodness, perfect. perfect. Well, we did it. We finished. Yay. We finished. I tell you, this is the cutest little, oh my goodness, seaside tree ever. And it is so cute. we only used one of those little trees. So I'm going to go back. Good. I'm actually going to go back and get myself another little bucket and um, some rocks and the foam and another little set of lights and make a double of this. And let me tell you what, guys, I got my money's worth out of that bag of shells. Let me just show you, first of all, the ornaments that we made, the ornaments that we made were from that jute they called it a tube, juke tube. Um, and we just cut it and we just glued, we just glued inside. We did, we, we thought, oh, let's tie we a knot. Them, and we, we had them stuck on the ends at first. Yeah, that and we're like, we didn't like that. It didn't, we didn't like they that. Said, How about if we make them into ornaments? And so we used that and. And just hot glued the, the tube right in there, just little lengths of the tube. And, and now where'd this look, come from? Cause right, that was really right good. Oh, good, okay. Cause I'm terrible. I, ugh. I love having my Christmas tree up, but I hate decorating a Christmas tree. I hate it. I'm terrible at it. Um, so I made the, let's see, like, I think it was here. Okay, probably there. This is what I'll do. I'll, I'll, look, I'll, at, look at her topper. Okay, so the, the and that's all from shells, from the little bag of shells. What I did is, okay, so when I put the lights on, I made sure to save one little LED for the tippy tippy top. And when you turn it on, I glued the little scallop shell to the back and then made a little star out of, I'm not even sure what these are called, these little cone shells, and then one right on, on the front sticking straight out, and it makes a little light em up tree topper. But all of that for a dollar, those shells got a dollar. I, I could not believe it. I have so paid, cute. I have paid upwards of $10 for a little dippy bag of shells, all broken pieces, mostly clam shells, from from Michael's every every time I needed shells I went to Michael's I'm going to the dollar store that bag sure. of shells For oh sure. and we also used the shells to cover the foam base on the bottom here on the bot yeah so and we just glued them around went two times around cl closed that up I cut out the um, foam in the back hold on let me lift this up cut out the phonum in the back and, and just stuck down the little because it's battery so you'll need to take that out and like fix the batteries yeah and and that's what we it did it is so cute in person you that's guys that's what we did it is so cute and while we were sitting here these little shells these pretty little i don't even know i wish i was smarter and knew the names of these shells i don't know i want to say conch shells so cute. little tiny conch these shells these tiny little shells all came in this little glass bottle and I thought that one that glass bottle is so now that's not where that came from oh <laughs> this little glass bottle was way too cute just to chuck in the trash so I took yet another shell from my bag of shells put it on the top I have a beautiful Santa coastal Santa he's all in white he'll match my tree perfectly beautiful. he's got shells on and you know how they make the little jars 
of flying reindeer food and it's just basically like glitter and and sparkles and stuff well i thought to go with the santa i could make flying seahorse food and just do aqua glitter pretty little iridescent maybe put some shells in there to to go with the santa beside the beside the little tree um the coastal so tree so the sky's I, the limit listen, for this, you guys. I got my money's worth out of the supplies. And and honestly, I wouldn't we didn't even need the the uh, the other tree. So if you think about it, what I used for this coastal tree was one, two, three, four, five, six, Ooh. seven dollars. Right. It was seven. Huh? It was <laughs> seven. Seven dollars is what this $7, whole little thing cost me. Now, like I said before, if you have ribbon, my, my alarm is going off. If you have oh. ribbon, if you have different ornaments, if you, and actually you could do a whole different theme, just check out your Dollar Tree and see what they've got. Like I said, you know, these lights had little Santa heads, but they had um, snowflakes, and all kinds of that's got you know just basically your imagination take your imagination uh and a couple bucks to the dollar tree and mm. you are gonna you're really gonna be surprised with what you can come up this with this is gonna be super cute in her room it you. is beautiful and i'm guys. so tickled with and maybe we can talk her into doing a tour for us at Christmas, sure. she's in that room yeah, yeah. of her coaster yeah. room yeah because i usually do it around i usually put yeah. up my christmas around thanksgiving yeah so she does. unlike me who will start after halloween <laughs> because i have so much to do yes <laughs> you do well, i don't do nearly all the time. don't do yeah. nearly what she does but, but her house is at well y'all have seen her house so for those of you who've been with me for a long time you all have seen her house and her house is beautiful oh you've seen my coastal room yeah. well but not at christmas no not at, I don't christmas. Think at christmas right you, not at Donnie christmas and you and i were in there right for fourth of july fourth of july yes fourth of july fourth of july yep so you haven't seen it at Christmas, so it's beautiful. I love my but, white tree, but this is gonna be super, super cute. It is. It with is. my Santa. I cannot tell you how pretty that room is. I just go in there and sit and just Favorite. Look. I, and that's just where look, I, I like to know? go in the evenings and just sit in there. Just sit in there, it's yeah. so pretty. Yeah. So thank you so well, much, Stacey. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. I that was, it. I'm, I'm it. just so as, much. oh, thank you so much. I'm just as surprised as everybody else that this actually turned out. So oh whatever. my goodness, I'm not. I'm not surprised. Honestly, honestly, I'm not even kidding. I'm not surprised. So, but I'm going to go into my final words and then stay tuned because we're going to have a bonus. I don't know how long we went. I know I've done a lot of fast forward, but hopefully you've had some Christmas music to listen to. <laughs> we're a little early, but that's okay. And uh, well, but, it was a Christmas project. You yeah, had so to we'll yeah, stay with yeah, the theme. You had to stay with the theme. Got to do a little Christmas. You know, music with it. Maybe so, you'll find some Hawaiian Christmas music or something. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I never know. Hey, <laughs> it's out there. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I have. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go into my final words and stay tuned because we're going to have a little bonus section at the end. Stacy said we can put this um, chicken pot pie casserole together oh. like lickety split. Yeah. So that'll just be a bonus, and then my dad and Stacy and I are going to eat because we're like we're we're I'm I'm fading away to nothing. You know, as I sit here, I know. Yeah. Hey, you know what I always say? You don't get a body like this without putting in the work. Right. You got to fill it up. Right. Fill it out. <laughs> fill it up to fill it up. Oh and put spandex Jesus. on it. It's fine. <laughs> Take care of it. Where the stretchies? That's where the stretchies. My, my stretchy pants for today. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to take a moment to thank you guys. Oops. Let me turn thank you all. Okay. Thank you all so much for all of your prayers, your thoughts, your good wishes for my dad. Uh, I've read a lot to him as we've been sitting here in the evenings and he appreciates every single one and I appreciate every single comment, sweet word, prayer. Thank you guys so very much. He has had literal prayer warriors thousands and thousands of you guys out there praying for him and we all appreciate it and i wanted to take a moment to pause and thank you so i am going to go into my final words now and say thank you guys so much for stopping in here i hope it was a little bit of a surprise that we came on for the little video today uh and i hope all is well with everyone for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be 
or from where it should be. We love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you and we keep you in our thoughts and prayers every single day. And with all that said, subscribe if you haven't, please. With all of that said, I'll just say stay tuned for our bonus. Until next time, y'all take, take good, good care. Good care. Bye-bye. Well, hello. And welcome to the bonus portion of the uh, Country Craft Corner uh, recipe, Video. recipe session. Hello, I'm here holding the camera up for a minute. <laughs> so I am going to show you how I make my favorite comfort food. This is not a I'm watching what I'm eating kind of meal. This is I am going to wear some stretchy leggings and eat what I want to eat type of meal. And this is hands down one of my favorites. So <clears throat> it's also a great, um, it could be a great fast, quick, like sports night. You've got kids going here, kids going there. It's, you could really put this together very quickly and make something hearty and solid and really, really delicious. So I'm going to show y'all how I make a, uh, pot pie casserole. Um, part of the beauty of this is you need one pan. Um, so I told Arlen that I would send her the recipe that I have saved. Unfortunately, I cannot remember, um, the, the website or the, the person to give credit to, but I will forward all that to Arlen, but be forewarned that it was a jumping off point. I do not usually follow a recipe. <laughs> So I'm just going to show you what I do um, and we will go from there. So I don't know if I need to tell you what the ingredients are. All that's going to be listed somewhere in this video. But basically, uh, I had previously, oh, this is where a it, it's a good, something that you can make ahead of time or get your pieces all together ahead of time and then throw it all together for a quick dinner. So yesterday I had cooked off and shredded about three or four chicken breasts. Now, if you don't have chicken breasts or you don't feel like you wanna do that, you wanna do it a little faster, go over to the market, get yourself a rotisserie chicken, shred that up. It's really a mix and match kind of thing, whatever works best for you. So you're gonna need chicken, you're gonna need cream of chicken soup. Here's what I'm gonna suggest to you. If you're gonna make this, make it get the <laughs> full on cream of chicken soup i'm a campbell's girl so i'm partial to campbell's but what i mean by that is don't try to get the heart healthy or the fat free or the low cow or any of that get the full on cream of chicken soup it does make a difference it will taste different um so you're gonna need some cream of chicken soup you're going to need some butter you're going to need a little bit of garlic powder. I prefer the roasted garlic powder. If you haven't tried it, I suggest it. You need a little less of this than you do of your normal garlic powder. But this, I buy this all the time now. I do not even buy the regular. You're going to need a cookie sheet, a nice deep pan, and um, some biscuits. And the recipe calls for, I'm not even sure what does the recipe call, it calls for Grand's Biscuits, like Pillsbury Grand's. Well, I'll tell you what, sometimes I've used Grand's, sometimes I've used, like today, I got flaky layers. Whatever biscuits you can get is going to work great. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is preheat your oven to 375. Our oven is ready to go. So what I like to do is at the same time, get my filling started while I get my biscuits in the oven. And that will make a lot of sense to you once you see how we put it all together um, because nobody likes a doughy, gross, raw biscuit mm -hmm. on their casserole. So let me mm -hmm. pause you right, right quick and I'm going to go grab some butter and our biscuits. Sorry, and that was our, me. And <laughs> our uh, frozen veggies and chicken and we'll get this thing put together. Be right back. Yes. Yeah. All right, there you go. Just okay, the top of your face. So, Excuse the top of her head. She has one, I promise. It's camera angles are hard. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna get my biscuits going. And these are just, like I said, look, I got flaky layer grands today. Mm, that works for me. So I'm just gonna pop. Well, okay. Oh, oh geez, here we go. Oh, gonna pop these biscuits. Open them up and just get these laid out. And I just put a little tin foil on my cookie sheet, sprayed it with a little spray just so they didn't stick. And I'm just gonna lay them out and spread these, spread these bad boys out. These will turn into our crust. But we're gonna get them started because like I said, nobody wants grody uh, roll biscuit dough in their casserole. So I got those all laid out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my filling started. This is not my kitchen, this is not my stove. So excuse the user, it's a little slow here on the uptake. <laughs> We're gonna try to figure out which, uh-oh, which, it's this one. Okay, I promise, I graduated high school, y'all. In college. But directions are not my forte, clearly. Okay, so we're gonna, yes, all right, so, I got my stick of butter. You're only gonna use a couple little tablespoons and this is just to warm up our vegetables. Let me get a little knife of butter and get that in the pan and let that go. And then we're gonna saute. Let's get our, just get our vegetables. And like I said, last night I cooked off some chicken and shredded it. Ooh, hot tip. If y'all have a KitchenAid mixer, guys, I'm not even kidding. Do not waste your time with two little forks trying to shred up your chicken. Once you cook off your chicken breast, right, and it's still hot, chuck it into your KitchenAid mixer, put your paddle attachment on there, start it off slow, and then, you know, gently increase it. It will shred your chicken. It was, listen, it was a game changer for me. I will show you what job it did. Now this chicken here, this chicken was shredded in my KitchenAid mixer. So there you go, that's an extra, extra bonus. That was a special extra bonus information right there for you. Okay, so we've got our butter going. So now we're gonna put in, let's see what it says here because like I said, I just used the recipes for a jumping off point and then I just chuck whatever I want in there. Ooh, ooh, that's hot. Ooh, your oven gets hotsy totsy. Well, you know what? We're gonna make a brown butter sauce today. Oh, no. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, so we will turn that down a little mind. bit. So we'll butter. turn that a little bit. Now, the recipe calls for a lot more vegetables. I don't really care for vegetables all that much. I'm not interested in vegetables. I'm not trying to make a vegetable pot pie. I want, ooh, I want the cream of chicken soup and I want chicken and I want all that in a biscuit, not vegetables, but I'm gonna be nice and I'm gonna go ahead and put some vegetables in it. So I just used a bag of frozen mixed vegetables, peas, carrots, corn, and green beans. And we're just gonna warm this up. We're gonna get this cooking down. And we're gonna let this go. And then once this is all nice and softened a little bit, then we'll add our, our soup. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you need a little bit of milk. Um, we'll add our soup, we'll add our chicken. Well, maybe I do need to warm it up. Okay, now while your, veg while your vegetables are warming through, that takes about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, get yourself another little nub of butter and put it in a little ramekin, and we're gonna warm that up, and that's gonna be our topping. We'll, we'll add ourselves some garlic powder to our butter, and that'll be our topping. So I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Ooh, that might be a lot. Let's maybe do 20 seconds. Clear bottom, yeah. Let's maybe start it at 20 seconds and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And this is just a little That's a great container tip about the, the kitchen aid. Oh my word. I can't tell you when I make chimichangas, I shred yeah. my chicken. If you're making buffalo chicken dip, mm -hmm. shred that chicken in your kitchen aid. I mean, it's game changer. But again, and we're gonna pop 
we're gonna pop our biscuits into the oven for eight minutes. 375 of it for eight minutes. We're gonna add our chicken. And I like a lot of chicken. So we're gonna put in a lot of chicken. And I like a lot of, I like a lot of cream of chicken soup. So guess what else we're gonna put in a lot of? I got two cans right here. Cream of chicken soup. All right, let's mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. chuck all this in. Oh, now work with me here. Soup. Scoop mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. out. Yum. Can number two. And then what you're gonna do, you're just gonna add enough milk to where you think it looks good. Now, I like my filling to be a little on the thicker side. So I add a little less milk. Um, I think the recipe calls for a cup or so. I'm not sure, but I just add it until I think it looks good and give it a stir and then see what I think. Oh, I'm making a mess. Let's give this a good stir. Oh my goodness. That looks delicious already, Stacy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, you could just eat this really filling. Good. I mean, everything, it's already it's cooked. It's butter cooked it for the vegetables. Dad says it smells really good. Oh, already, awesome. <laughs> well, this kitchen looks like your, Uncle Dave looks like your brother was in here cooking. <laughs> okay, now, I like my filling thick, but even this is a little what? too thick no, for me. Like He's neat. What? Oh, you yeah, okay. Like Dad is. He's neat. So that was maybe, maybe about, what do you think, a cup? A cup? A cup? Yeah, I probably about a cup. A cup. Oh, so good. Yeah, that's about the consistency I like. Mm. This is about the consistency Oop, that I like. Sounds like gloopy. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that in French culinary school terminology, gloopy. <laughs> gloopy. You want to make it go? Yeah, this, is, it is, this is the goop, right? The goop. We're making the goop. Okay, oh, and now we're just going to let that go. In the meantime, we're almost ready to put this all together. Our goop is bubbling away, getting nice and warm. Our biscuits are getting toasty in the oven. So the next step, the last step, when those biscuits come out, we're going to put our casserole completely together. And then we're going to baste the top of those biscuits with just a little bit of butter and a couple of sprinkle sprinkles of this roasted garlic powder. Oh my word, that smells so and good. And <laughs> I have, look at this. Oh, I just love this so much. I use this so much more than I ever thought I would. It's just a little silicone basting brush and I love I it. I do too. Love I it. Do too. So I'm just gonna mix my butter and my garlic in my little dish oh. and we're ready to go. Yeah, Dave yes, likes yes. salt and pepper, so I'm gonna no, pepper no, the goop. No salt, no salt two, just two, pepper. Just pepper. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna pepper up my goop. Okay. This is the pe this is pepper. Yes. Okay. You can always put them on after you dish it out. Oh, oh, oh no, not at your house. We don't. Okay. <laughs> we have peppered goop. All right. So now we are ready to assemble our casserole. Our goop is nice and hot. So we're gonna pour all of this into our little nine by 13. Now, obviously you Spray can use a glass one. Spray nope, don't. Uh, well, that's hot and now that's hot. Let's go right here. Can you see me over here? Okay, so we're gonna put all our goop right in the pan. My clothes. We're gonna scrape. <laughs> I'm sorry. You right guys there, that's good, go. that's good. And we're gonna, oh golly day, there's the timer for the biscuits. <laughs> okay. You're a professional over here, I'm telling you. All right, so we just put the goop into our pan. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our biscuit. You know what, Arlen? I'll just bring it right over here. Okay. And we're going to put our biscuits, but we're going to put them browned side down. That's important. Okay, that's very important because again, nobody wants a raw goop, gooey, disgusting biscuit. 
So we're gonna put all of them, all of them on here. Oh my goodness. And we'll put these in here. And you know what else I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to support myself a little bit with this sad little pan. And put him on here. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to top these biscuits with a little bit of garlic butter. And just each of them get their own little massage mm -hmm. oil on here. This looks delicious, Dad. Some oh. garlicky butter mm -hmm. massage oil. Mm. And not that you'll have any extra of this, but if you do, I just pour that right on there. Nobody wastes butter at my house. Mine either. And oops, and then you, uh, the important thing is to splatter your butter and garlic all over the oven so that you'll have <laughs> something you have to clean up later. And then the whole thing goes back in the oven just so the top, so your tops of your biscuits get cooked. Because actually, if you think about it, everything is cooked already except for the biscuits. We're putting so this back out. in the oven till our biscuits get nice and brown on the top. So now we go. Okay, now we're gonna go in there and we're gonna set that timer for 10 minutes and we'll check it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna set it for eight and then we're gonna check our biscuit. So it could be anywhere from eight to 15 minutes depending on your oven, but all you're really trying to do is brown and cook through your biscuits because your goop is cooked. You could eat that right with the spoon. You don't even need anything, but we're just, popping it back in the oven to get those biscuits browned on top too. And then once that's finished, it's time to eat. Yeah, man. <laughs> we'll try to do a little taste test when we come back. All right, okay, be back. It's the moment of truth, <laughs> the best one. We're ready to take it out and dish it up. Look at that beautiful bubbly brown masterpiece. Okay, let me take this out. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all, you need to smell. I wish we had smell-o-vision. It oh. smells so good. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Okay, we are gonna All do right. a quick taste. We're gonna we dish are this some up. hungry people here, so. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna do a taste test because that is so important that you don't serve anything gross to your, yes. to your command. Oh, this is gonna be hotter. Oh, we gotta blow. Then hate. The hinges. Hot and Hades. Oh, baby, I'm so excited I'm for you to try it. I'm so excited for you to try it. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Wait. I already know what it tastes like. I'm gonna watch her. Mm. It's so hot, but it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Y'all gotta try this. Mm. Y'all gotta try it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stacy. You're welcome. Bye, y'all. We're gonna eat.